Father, we thank you for this day, this celebration, this union, these two lives coming together as one. And God, we are, are so grateful for Justin. We are so grateful for Keith. Justin, I cannot believe that I get to marry you. You are the most patient and kind person, and you are so beautiful inside and out. You are everything I have always wanted, and so much that I didn't even know I needed. Keaton, who would have thought the stranger I sat across from at Cancun's, who had costed me for how I fold my napkin, would be standing across from me on my wedding day? But here we are. We have been through so much in the nine years we have known each other, and I am so thankful that my journey begins and ends with you. After all the years we've known each other, I like to think I knew you were the one after one of the first nights we hung out together. It was the evening we stayed up all night at your apartment, singing all our favorite songs from Hotel California, Every Journey Song, and of course, Weird Al's White Nerdy. We balance each other in all the right ways. We communicate on levels that most people are not capable of. And we truly enjoy doing everything together. Whether that's traveling the world, sitting on the couch with Jira, or creating a competition out of just about anything, no matter what we do, I'm having the time of my life with you. As I look at you, standing in front of me, I am grateful for the past that we have been through, but excited for what this future holds for us. Justin, this woman whom you hold by your hands is to be your wife. She has given you one of the most sacred things under heaven, a woman's love and a woman's heart. And Keaton, this man whom you hold by the hand is to be your husband. May your life and love be an inspiration that will constantly lead him to greater dependence upon the Lord. As your wife, I vow to keep the adventure alive for the rest of our days. I vow to love you without reservation or conditions. I vow to always do my best to give more than I take and to not keep score. You are my best friend. You are the yin to my yang, my soulmate, and unequivocally the best thing that has ever happened to me. I vow to always seek a deep, deep understanding of your wishes, your desires, your fears, and your dreams. I vow to protect your heart as if it were my own and honor our relationship above all else. I will always love you on the good days, the bad days, and the worst days. I will always be a shoulder you can lean on and always be by your side to protect you. You are the closest thing to heaven that I will ever reach on this earth. I love you to the moon and back infinitely because you are my one and only. I see these vows not only as promises, but equally as privileges. I get to build a life with you. I don't have to honor and cherish you. I get to. Thank you for loving me exactly how I am and for giving me the absolute honor of loving you. There will never be enough time with you, but forever is certainly a great place to start. I love you. And I love you. Father, we thank you again for this union. We thank you for the vows that were shared and exchanged. God, the heartfelt, tender moments of the heart being united together by your grace, by your mercy. So Lord, let the blessing rest upon them. Keep them, be a part of their future, the unseen guest at every meal. To be there as they grow closer to you, they grow closer together. Thank you, God, again for the celebration of these two lives becoming one. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.
right there.